Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. Today we're here at the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station, N4USA, and I'd like to discuss today a specific antenna tuner, the MFJ949E. Well, let's take a little uh, look at the front panel controls on this MFJ949E. Over here to the left is the SWR meter, which has a dual meter, which is very nice, showing reflected power and forward power. Ideally, when it's tuned, you'd have all forward power, no reflected power. The controls that go with the SWR meter, here we have a control where we can uh, have the meter reading 300 watts or 30 watts full scale. One other control over here for peak reading or average reading, depending on what you want to read on your meter. This red button here is for turning the light on in the meter only. It, the uh, whole antenna tuner works without this, but if you want a lighted meter, you do this. Okay, here's the switching available. Uh, we can switch the output to the balance line or the output going to the coax one or coax two. Over here, we can bypass the entire tuner and have the input go directly to output two or output one and we can have it go directly to the um, balance line. And there's a dummy load connection down here and over here. So here's your dummy load connections. This connects in your, your 50 ohm resistor. Moving on over uh, to the actual tuning of the tuner, here's our two capacitor tuners and here's the inductor tuner. All of the circuitry here is just the SWR bridge. So let's not concern ourselves with the SWR bridge over here to the left. Here's a transmitter input. Remember, the SWR bridge is before the antenna. There are several outputs here, so they're switching on the outputs. But here's the T network we were just looking at. Look, here is the inductor. Variable taps on the inductor, so we get variable inductance. Here's the variable capacitor hooked to the transmitter. Here's a variable capacitor hooked to the output. So here's our basic tuning circuit, the T network. This antenna tuner also has a ballon in it for balanced lines. Yes, it has a dummy load, so we can hook this up to the transmitter and tune the transmitter into a dummy load as well. So here's your T network, inductor, output capacitor, input capacitor. The T tuner, which is the actual tuner itself, here are the two capacitors, and they're variable capacitors, of course, and on the front panel at zero, you have maximum capacitance, at 10, you have minimum, so put them around five to start with. Here's the inductor. It has taps on it here. You can see the taps, all these wires going over to a switch, so we can select different inductances and different uh, capacitors. This is a whole tuner itself. The rest of this tuner consists of circuit board down here which has a circuitry for the SWR meter and a switch that switches the various output functions and functions to the dummy load, various antennas and so forth right here. Here's the dummy load itself, 50 ohm resistor. And over here is the ballon if you're going to feed uh, dual a uh, twin lead type circuitry or type uh, lead 450 ohm, 300 ohm, this is a ballon for that. Looking at the back side, here we see where we hook the transmitter up. This coax goes directly to the output of your transceiver. We have two places where we can hook up uh, two different coaxes to antennas if we have two, coax one and coax two. Down here is where you would put in the uh, 12 volts if you want a meter lit. And for using this with balanced uh, wire, here's the connection for the balanced wire or balanced lead. And then we have to put a jumper between these two. To, to do balanced uh, feed. And here's the connection for ground. Remember ground, the best RF ground is a braided shield, and for lightning ground is a solid, heavy solid wire. You may want to run both of those in your shack. Well, thank you for looking at this MFJ tuner. I want to remind you that a tuner does not make a poor antenna system or poor feed line into a good one. What it does do is transfer maximum power to that system from the transmitter by matching the output impedance of the transmitter to the antenna feed system and the antenna system. 
Thank you for watching our video and have a good day.